Uh, we've seen that a lot of the lies of the Leave campaign have been exposed. Um, I certainly find that when I'm on the street stalls with Manchester for Europe that people, the rhetoric has changed, people might have changed their minds, people are understanding the issues more. Um, how do you feel as you travel around the company, around the country, sorry, in the bollocks to Brexit bus? You've been doing all this campaigning. As you speak to people, how do you feel that rhetoric has changed? Um, it's it's. I mean, everyone's different, and I think the great stupidity of the the Brexit referendum was that it posed a binary question about something that was way, way, way more complicated. And everyone has a unique position and unique opinions informed on their, you know, their life experiences, their understanding, their knowledge, and those opinions have shifted like you say and we need to acknowledge that they've shifted in line with changing information um, and uh, just the kind of general Brexit chaos. I mean I was a bit disheartened over Christmas talking to uh, just you know fr family friends uh, that I've known for a long time. My, the general mood is apathy. Everyone's just sick of hearing about Brexit. Even the Remainers don't want to know about it. They don't know what the Irish backstop is, but they're sick of hearing about it. And I can totally get that. And I think that's a failure of our media to communicate the basic information that people need to know, like what is the Irish backstop, um, and also overloading us with you know, these opinions and this kind of false impartiality. Um, but I mean, in general, um, I've, you know, I think more people are seeing Brexit for what it is, which is a complete shambles and a mess. And in particular, more young people are getting involved with uh, the anti-Brexit campaigns. And, um, and I think really pushing the positive narrative, which is, you know, something that I try to do with the reasons to remain materials and stuff, is having an impact about, you know, making people feel like a bigger pro-European spirit and part of the European community um, and that kind of identity of being an EU citizen.